Good morning everyone, I am Webhub and this is Natural Worlds. Today I am going to speak about direct air capture. It is a very unique technology, let me tell you. It is very expensive but it's very effective also. Apart from trees, under my knowledge, I can see that direct carbon capture is the only way for humanity's survival. And I've always said this on my YouTube channel as well. It costs half the GDP of the US. Just think, it's $10 trillion a year. The US will be out of money in just two years. But still, it does the work of 870 cars annually. Then think, over 17,000, 1700 cars not being able to pollute because of those machines a year. And I'm just saying one machine of them. Just think, hundreds of these will be there. They could literally suck up millions of tons of CO2. And that is why we need to reduce our emissions. It's not just about emissions. The pollution that we have also created is at a site as a sub making more pollution and making more climate change progress. Direct carbon capture in only a few acres of land can do the work of 40 million trees. Just think 40 million, 4 crore, 400 lakh trees. That's gonna take forests to fill up that, those many trees. But instead, you're just paying for a few acres. Incredible, because the land is actually being used very little. But the use is very effective, with approximately $100 being used on every ton of CO2 being captured. All that CO2 can be converted into solids and then sold legally for more money to ca capture more. So it's a kind of a cycle and can become a business in the later years if it is promoted, like how we promoted electric cars. This technology captures only the carbon particles and lets the oxygen particles go free. So we have free oxygen that we can breathe and we can use for other things, like how trees give us this oxygen. And this technology exists. I am not telling you a lie. There is one such major factory in Iceland, and it is doing the work of 870 cars annually. Even Bill Gates is promoting this technology. Just think, but Bill Gates cannot do this alone. He does not have the money, he does not have the time. He can only solve a very minor particle out of this huge complex problem. First, we need to prevent it because prevention is better than cure. And once we can prevent it, then we can reduce the impact of climate change at a drastic level if the entire society comes together. And even if you come together just to raise funds for these technologies, even then you can help support the environment if you can raise enough money. So that's it for this video. We would appreciate if you can like, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, email us at kinguniversal35 at gmail.com and you can also check out our website for more details about many topics that we have uploaded on sites.google.com slash view slash nature is the world slash home. Thank you.